Hey, Jay. Good morning, Andy. How are you? Good, good. Hey, thanks for taking the time and showing me some of the stuff on your fuel cells. You know, you know what our project is, right? We're yep. kind of building this 69 Trans Am Pro Touring car, but we're to the point now where we're trying to decide how to put the fuel cell in. So I thought I'd come here and get the, awesome. get the real scoop from you. See if we can help you out. Yeah, super. So this one's complete, right? Absolutely. It's just like we'd go to the racetrack with. Okay. 100% um, NASCAR legal. Uh, everything there is done for safety. Um, make sure it's sound and erect. It looks like it's uh, it's mounted like right in between the frame rails, like right up tight. So we're centered in the in the car. Um, we've got a little bit of intrusion foam to uh, allow for just a little bit of a crush area. Frame rails are 083, two by three box. The front and rear rails are one by three, 065, and all of the structure you see is 65,000 steel. Okay. It looks like there's even some spacers in between here that to prevent the tubing from crushing as you're tightening it up. When the car wrecks, the thing falls apart, it'll keep you from pulling the tube through, or the bolt right through the tube. I see. Okay. Is that something I can take some measurements from? Absolutely. Why don't we walk back in the fab shop? We've got one a little bit better display. What's okay. going on? Awesome. Super. So this is a Exact same thing we had out there. We've just taken the back panel off of it so you can get a little better view of what's going on. Okay. And you can see the little better picture of the fuel cell can itself. Now the fuel cell itself also is in its own can too, right? Absolutely. The fuel cell, it's a, a spec can. Um, no seams, no, it, it's all welded together solid. Okay. Uh, you actually have to force the bladder down through the center hole, spread it back out. Um, done 100% for safety, just trying to keep it from splitting okay. and it, if we were to wreck. Here's a better view of the individual pieces. You've got the top rack. Okay. One by one. Okay, and that looks like it's all TIG welded. It is TIG welded. When we build these, we try to keep them from warping. Everything we do, we try to keep as flat as we can. Mm -hmm. um, the TIG weld, a little less heat a little more precise. Um, don't have to do any grinding afterwards if there was a high and low. And here's a good view of those spacers to so keep the tubes from crushing or the bolts from pulling through, right? Exactly, yep. Okay, and, and this, this is the can that it sits in? Yep, that's uh, the, the lower can. Um, gets welded directly into the into the car. Um, there's, a, there's a very strict weld pattern to it from NASCAR, um, inch, two inch space, inch weld, two inch space. Okay. All the way around the thing. Um, We've got three bars, again, one inch 065. We TIG weld them to keep them from spreading out. Um, this will go right on the outside. We've got, we'll end up with two, one in the middle, and then two seven inches off center. Okay, and that NASCAR. just adds extra safety in case something hits the can or something like Absolutely. that? Absolutely, okay. just to keep it from crushing. Okay, gotcha. And then these get bolted down to the those frame rail pieces that are exactly. inside the car. The, the frame rail, the one by three, would be here, okay. and then you'd have a short stand there. And then the front, there's a little bit of lift to go over the top of the rear end housing, mm -hmm. so we don't have spacers, stands, we just have the nuts welded straight to the oh, frame. Perfect. Okay, excellent, excellent. So one of the things that I like about working with race teams too is they actually sell off their used parts, right? So Absolutely. you could buy something like this as a used or runoff part, you know, and it would be a lot less expensive than buying something brand new. And so for what I'm doing, I'm not building a show car here. This is, this is a go car. It, it'll look good, it'll be functional, but for me, something like this used would be excellent for my, you know, for my application. Uh, is this something that you could buy directly from Richard Childress's, or would you go through a parts house, or? You can do that. Absolutely, you can. We, we have a parts warehouse. NASCAR makes us date everything. It's added, we go two years, NASCAR makes us pull it out. Oh, yeah. So at the end of two years, um, it goes into a used parts system, whether that's here, um, Second Chance Auto Parts. There's, there's two or three mm -hmm. vendors, um, and every race team's got them, so it's absolutely a part that you oh, can yeah. get. Okay, and it's still great. I mean, they just, Absolutely. you know, wrong NASCAR with it. is just extra cautious and they, they date everything. So even even though it's still perfectly functional and safe, Absolutely. they want to make sure they have a handle on everybody being up to date on right. their safety clip. Exactly. At 200 miles an hour, you do not want to take a chance. Yeah. Same thing like safety belts and all that stuff too, Absolutely. Right? Yep. 
Well, this might work for me. I think I might actually buy one from you. Thank you very much for your time. This is uh, this will help us out a lot, and it's great to see how the pros do it because I want to make sure that we're we're staying safe and even on our builds, we're going to be taking it to some big tracks. And and uh, if anything does happen, I want to make sure that we're we're covered. Absolutely, that's the way to do it. Super. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate your time, man. You're very welcome. Thank Thanks. you.